Hi, this is Eric with VBHowTo.com, and I'm going to tell you how to do a VBA message box OK cancel. And this is useful to, by the way, this is VBA tip number two. And this is a little series of little, little VBA tidbits. Uh, the VBA message box OK cancel. It's good to, uh, good to retain, get information from the from your user. Like if uh, you want to prevent a long running query from running, if you want to confirm that they actually want to do it, they could continue and say OK, or they could just cancel out of it. So that would prevent them from taking like 30 minutes of their time or some long running some long-running process you want to prevent that from happening so what we're doing here is uh, putting an answer using the message box and return it the message box is a function and it can be used as as both the last video used it just to uh, give a message to the user here we're retrieving information from the user we're saying message box, are you sure? And then we're giving them, a, here's the real key right here, uh, VBOK cancel. As you click these, uh, as you click here, these commas, IntelliSense pops up and it should give you some different message boxes that you actually want. Uh, and of course, there's quite a few of them here. <clears throat> and then, of course, our, our title here, please confirm. So here uh, we're going ahead and saying, select the answer, whatever they clicked. If it's okay, we have a, uh, this is a select statement. If it's okay, we're going to continue with the operation. If not, we just exit the procedure, exit sub. So I'm going to run it by pressing F5. And are you sure? Remember, if I click OK, it's going to say continue because I'm going to continue the process. Continuing. OK, what if I choose cancel then? If I choose cancel, then I'm exiting. I'm just exiting the sub. So again, VB OK cancel by using a select statement, a conditional statement that's controlling the flow of this from VB OK to VB cancel. And then I'm exiting the sub on VB cancel. And again, these are all enumerated. So, but VB OK is your, is your kind of keyword. Um, and then VB cancel is your keyword and the value that I'm storing here is like a, I think it's a zero or one. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and the answer, if you, if you want to, well, let's see, okay. I'm putting an, uh, the break point here and I'm saying, okay, cancel. Okay. is going to be, uh, answered equals one. Okay. If I choose uh, cancel here, I get two. Okay, so my answer is two, and notice that it goes to be cancel. Cancel is two, and okay is one. So, which makes it kind of nice. Um, VB cancel again, two, okay, one. And it's it goes by it's a numeric. I mean the computers are zeros and ones anyway, or numerics. Uh, so we we loved we love to see text and text representation of a numerical value. And so hence we have all these we have all these words that stand for numbers. But uh, hopefully you got some out of this and. Uh, Anyway, if you want the code, come out to VBAHowTo.com. You could also uh, register for a free VBA course. It's 
30 plus days of VBA information. Um, also, if you like the vid, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button uh, below. And also, if you have any questions, make sure you enter them below in the in the comments area. So, and I will see you again. And hopefully you like this and I can use it in your own project. Thanks. Bye-bye.